How long do I plan to keep the series going? I mean, I don't have any plans of stopping at the moment, I'll tell you that. I mean, I don't see me doing this after the draft, but the recruiting is all taken care of. I don't think there's... Do it until Maryland is perennially ranked number one. There you go. I think I think we're, we're good where we're at, yeah. I need some of these guys to start committing, though, before the season ends because... I don't have a whole lot of points to share for the, the off-season recruiting. Would I consider returning to modded Madden? Honestly, not really. Because I am not super upset with the state of Madden at the moment. And I think Madden 22 is going to be well worth our time. So I'm just not that interested in going back to Madden's ago. This game is not going to be easy, guys. On the road at Penn State, it's a big one. This is a big one. We got Rutgers next week, so if we can win this and next week, we'll be eight and four on the year, and probably get a pretty good bowl game. We could potentially finish the year ranked, which would be a huge step forward. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. You hope the coaching staffs in Madden will be customizable. I, I think they will be, but don't quote me on that. I know this is a hot take, but like I, th I actually enjoy the gameplay in Madden 21. I know it's a hot take, but... I did, Big Dalt. We are actually getting some love for uh, for franchise, and that that's not the only thing that we're getting. I believe that. Okay, so I want to play that first possession. We are on offense, so let's hop in. Oh, you're going the wrong way, Jacobs. Mike McCarthy or Adam Gase? Whew. That is a good question. They are both fucking terrible. The fact that it's even a question is... that I have to think about says a lot about... Cowboys coach. Get it, Talia! Let's go! Good run! Doesn't have 99 speed Jason Owe chasing after me, clearly. Cross platform roster share for Madden. If we get that, I will I will cry tears of joy. Like seriously, that would be so freaking nice. Especially if it's something where I can edit the rosters on computer, where I don't have to deal with the loading screens and I can just do it on a spreadsheet and then upload it to everything. Oh my God, it'd be so nice. Seal that edge, Isaiah Jacobs. Nice. You're gonna buy an Xbox just to use my rosters? Do it. I should make commission from Microsoft because you wouldn't be the first person that did that. <laughs> Oh, if Boone stayed up there. So far, pretty good drive. I'm trying to stay focused here. They're coming out in these light formations, so. Damn. How's the uh, availability been for next gen? Have, has everyone been able to get consoles now or are they still all sold out?
Nice play. Get up field, McDougal. Let's go. Xbox Series X is available. PS5 is impossible to get. Even more, even more reason to get an Xbox now. You get the TFG roster and draft class and everything. All right, first drive is a success. We got a defensive stop. And then we fumble the ball right over to them and give up a touchdown. Just as things were going nice. Go O, go O. Hey, there we go. Big time drive. Come on, D. There we go. I think I'll play our next drive. Yep. I don't currently have any updates on the PS PlayStation roster, no. Not sure what the PlayStation team is up to. I mean, there is a roster. It, as far as like updated transactions and stuff, though, that's very much up in the air. Okay, release R1. God, what are you. Somehow we got out of that. Both linebackers blitzed. All I wanted was the running back to leak out. I just wanted to flip it to the running back. He had plenty of green grass. He did not go, and then I got left to dry. Somehow we got out of that. First down. Would ETN and Harris be top 10 picks years ago? Um, Harris probably would have. Oh, okay, Jacobs. Blurbs died because uh, there's a limit, Daniel. <laughs> you can only do, you can only buy ten blurbs in a in a stream, and everyone blew their load on them. Get up field, Boone. You. Yeah. <laughs> Ameli, the blurbs are a new feature on TFG Twitch. You can spend channel points and get me to read a bio for a player from my NFL draft board, AKA a blurb. Oh no, no, they gave him the fumble. I was just trying to throw the ball away, fuck. Oh no. Oh, that's going to suck. Come on, offense. Make up for it, at least. Whew, okay. Don't let him score before half. Nice. Maybe we can get some points, too. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. We got one drive. I'm going to sim this one. Not ideal. Come on, D. Good job, defense. Okay, we are backed up. I'm going to play it now. Eh, I'm going to save it. It's still tied. I'm going to save it maybe for the fourth. Jeez, defense back and forth. Wow, we got another stop. Okay, I'm going to use it now. Let's take the lead on this drive. We got a long drive ahead of us. Could the Texans trade for Darnold? Yeah, that might not be a bad spot for Darnold. Thank you, college football guy. Appreciate you saying that. Nice run, Isaiah Jacobs. Nice run. Blitz was coming in. Mc, 
McDougal. Dion Mustard McDougal. You guys, I appreciate you for hanging out with me tonight. It's been an amazing stream. We're not done yet. I just want to thank you guys, every single one of you, for tuning in. This this stream is going to go a long way towards getting Twitch Partner, getting that average back up over 75. So thank you for joining me tonight. This has been definitely one of the more fun streams. Not that they aren't all fun, but this one this one's been a special level of fun, I would say. Even though we lost some tough games today, we've had some great moments. And if you're enjoying it, make sure you follow my Twitter at TFGPlays so you don't miss future streams. They do have Jason Owe, by the way. He just probably doesn't have incredible speed because they probably didn't know about that when they were making this roster. Worth back to it. That's all we get, guys. If we get under under two minutes, I will play. If it's if we're losing, we had a great punt though. Let's go. Okay, I think I think the team's gonna pull this off. Jeez, nowhere on offense. Oh, we got the ball back. Go, go. Ah, brutal. Defense gets a stop. We got to do it. We got to do it, man. I don't care. Technically, our Madden rules with play the moments let us play in the two-minute warning, so I don't feel so bad about it. Oh, wow. What a play. Marquise Wilson. That reminds me. Someone, someone bought a Marco Wilson blurb earlier. We got to read that at some point. This feels like it might be a blitz. I'm gonna check this to a hot. Let's go, McDougal. He is insane. Scott, ears. If you're lucky, maybe someone in this chat will grab one of my older roster videos that explain my uh, my Madden rosters and why I make them. Let's call that timeout. There you go. Nice catch. We have almost double their yardage. There you go. Panda dropped a video about my rosters there for you. Scott Ears. Get up field. Time out. As always, Panda comes in the clutch. That's right. Panda, I loved you uh, showing up on the running backs video, reminding me that you you had the original Alvin Kamara comp like a year ago. For uh, get out of there, shoot. for ETN, and then I told you that I didn't see it before I even evaluated Travis ETN. You were on it. I'm just going to send the running back. Someone get open for me. Come on. They had that totally covered up. Hopefully we get overtime, guys. Hopefully we get overtime. Ooh, not the best punt. Yeah, I saw that Talia got hurt at the end of that. He's taking a beating in this game. Oh, God. Whew. That was close. <laughs> bruised sternum. He's all right. He's got a bruised elbow. He's got a bruised sternum. 
We have had some intense overtime games, guys, and this is no different. Oh, no. Blown assignment there. Get it! Yo, Hippolyte! Ah! You had it! Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Teddy, we almost had him. Tackle him, tackle him. Oh. Brandon Bostick in the house. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, get him. Good read option. I totally got thrown off there. Trace McSorley wannabe. Am I right? Got to score. That drop pick was rough. I'm going to come out in five wide. It's where we're comfortable. Nice catch. Is there an NFL team I wouldn't take the GM job for? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Will Fong, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the the PAT. Play defense, or actually, we go right back on offense. Then we're gonna try to play. I think we're I think we're actually the better team. We have more yardage than them. We had a drop pick. I think we can do this. Oh, there's Jason Owe. <laughs> Dougal in the slot. Damn. Thank God it wasn't picked. Yikes. Need a big play. Yes. Whew. We needed that. Really needed that. Way to go get it. I might hand this off even if the guy comes down. Nope, not the right read. We can't bench Talia, football guy. As much as I love you, you can't bench Talia. Go, baby, go, baby. Good run. 100 viewers. You guys are showing up. I'd play the, I'd play the Avengers soundbite, but it gets copywritten. Play, big play, big play. Focus, focus, focus. Yes. Ooh. Was not going to make a big mistake there. Go, 
Okay. Defense it is. They're coming out. Empty set. Let's get a QB spy on here. Come on, make a play, baby. Oh, Hippolyte needed just an extra step there. Big play, though. Big play. Hippolyte's like my dude. This dude's super fast. Nice hit. Green. Sweet. He ran out of bounds. Okay, guys. Come on. I don't know if I expected to win this game. I'm going to be honest. Penn State was like a 95 overall. Let's drop this guy. Okay, I don't know what I just did with him, but I'll take it. Another screen. Oh, my, oh my God. I missed the tackle. I blew it. What a ballsy call to go a screen there. Damn. Oh, Hippolyte, you're fucking killing me, dude. Two drop picks? This is why he's on defense. Ah. I can hear the announcers. Oh god, they're in Wildcat. Get him. Let's go. Fourth and five. Come on. Tackle. Woo! We did it, chat. We did it. It was not easy, but we did it. And now, if we can beat... Rutgers in simulation We will have as many wins as we had last year or did we no we got to seven wins last year, right? So I, I we have if we beat Rutgers we guarantee at least one more win In our progression we I think we started with six seven and now eight How would I change overtime? So I would get rid of kickoffs and punts. Scratch the scratch the sudden death bullshit. And then when the team gets to fourth down, so both and the, the, the key here is both teams start from the 25 or the 35, whatever yardage you want to decide. And you're both going the same way. You're going the same way into the wind. Both teams start from the same spot. The only dif the only difference is on fourth down. You can quote unquote punt, and then the other team will just start their drive exactly where you started. Or if you want, at any point on the field, you can go for it on fourth down, and if you don't get it, the other team takes over right there. It's pretty straightforward. Dang, Panda, you got, you got my videos on a hotline. All right, Rutgers in 86 overall. We better beat them. We'll get a reminder of what our record was last year at the very end of the year. Pretty good recruiting class. I'm excited to see how it finishes, but we got to land these top dudes. And I'm getting nervous. Some One of these top guys needs to freaking commit already because... 
I can't I can't spend all of these points. In the in the off season. Wilson streams on Twitch. That's interesting. Putting sound bites to channel points. I would need to figure out how to do that. Okay, Rutgers is three and eight. We better freaking beat Rutgers. Come on, finish strong, Terps. Whew. Finally, one of these close games goes our way in simulation. Man, if we could have gotten, like, the Bowling Green game back or... What were, like, the Iowa... Some of those Big Ten games that uh, just didn't land our side of the coin. Who's my favorite realistic target for the Packers to end up not drafting? As in, that's kind of a weirdly worded question, but do you mean, like, who I, who who is a realistic guy that they could take that I definitely don't want them to take? Because if that's the question, I have my answer ready. I don't think Sage Surratt is realistic. <laughs> now, second, third round, I'd be worried about that. All right, we got our center to commit, but we still need these guys to commit before the offseason. I'd be worried about them taking Sage Surratt mid-rounds, but uh, I there's no way they take him in the first round. There is just no way. The guy I'm dead fully afraid of, hey, we're ranked 8-4. and four. We'll see our end-of-season stats here. The guy I'm dead fully afraid of the Packers taking is Alex Leatherwood. in the first round. I could get by. I think Tony would actually be awesome on the Packers. I, I would be perfectly fine if they took Tony. He, he would remind me a lot of the Niners taking... Uh, oh, Brandon Ayuk last year, who... You know, he's not the most polished receiver, but... Get creative with him, put the ball in his hands. I think he could he could go to work. So Laduca, you ended up with two picks. You cooled off after two picks in your in your first two games. We gotta get some more production from you next year. So I don't think we're gonna be making the conference championship, but let's look just in case. Is Tony good at a lot of what Adams does? Mm, I would say they're very different players. They do have similar at like quickness, I would say, but their role would be very different, which is good. They need someone else. And he'd be he'd be a great third piece cuz MVS I kind of believe in him. Michigan's going to be going to that conference championship. college football guy for starting QB 2022 it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough we've got we've got a, a commit from last year that's kind of rocking and rolling to go I'm already excited for next year if I didn't have to stop and put in all the patreon I mean maybe I could just keep it going and if we stay over 90 viewers by the time we're ready for season three and we're still over 90 viewers when if I put in the Patreon names for next year, then I'll keep it going. Okay, we got some more commits. M Major, Marcus Major from Oklahoma wins the Heisman. We play Wake Forest in the Dukes Bowl. 
I'm gonna play it because I want to win. Also, our linebacker won the Bednarik Award. That's pretty sweet. He had a great year. But I think we can handle Wake Forest, guys. It's a pretty good comp for KJ Costello, not gonna lie. Mike Long. Any six foot five white guy that could be pulled out of a community algebra college class. So basically, I'm gonna play as much as I need to play to win this game. I'm gonna simulate the first little bit, see how we're doing, and then. Right, Panda? That was KJ Costello. Throws for 600 yards and still looks terrible. Thanks for the follow, Hardchester. Jeez, gave up a long touchdown drive. And then we don't answer it. Now we answer it. All right, let's slow this down. We aren't exactly kicking their butt. Beat him deep. Throwing, throwing those fades, this is not a good idea in this game. Unless he's got wide open separation. Nice, we got a, we got an interception. Two picks for Talia. They're loading up the box. Come on, we got the vertical speed to get past these guys. Damn, they brought the heat. Wake Forest doesn't give a fuck. Should have hit the running back. Oh, go. It's a good run. Good run. Isaiah Jacobs is about to go off next year. If he gets a good player boost, he's going to be a 90 overall junior. McDougal. I'm so excited for Dion McDougal. Him and Rakeem Jarrett next year are about to go off. My grade on Costello is hashtag poor. He's currently my last QB with a 4.9 grade. I'm actually surprised I have a UDFA grade and not a non, although technically sub five is non NFL. So I should probably change that to a non NFL grade. Oh, what was that? We got sucked into, like, an animation or something. That doesn't sound like Thanks, something EA would do to us. So my KJ Costello blurb. You guys have been asking for the KJ Costello blurb. It's funny. I'll get to it. Who else is going to move the chains? Dion McDougal. Costello is a gigantic pocket passer who commands the ball very well. This is the extent of positive notes on KJ Costello. He is a point and shoot passer with no desirable mental or physical traits beyond his arm strength. His accuracy is subpar as well. He needs a complete change of scenery and has a lot of a lot to prove before even earning a spot on an NFL practice squad. That's the KJ Costello blurb. Hey, 
Racy McMath has an overhauled grade. He is now wide receiver 41 with a sixth round of priority free agent grade. And a much, a much nicer blurb. I am playing on PS3, Harchester. Oh, we got the blocking. We got the spin moves. Oh, we got all the spin moves. Costello and TJ Vasher in the XFL. You couldn't stop the height. Although you probably could. Oh my god, that corner got up. Are you kidding me? You wouldn't get that in uh, in the new Madden. No way you're defending that. He was 10 yards away from that out route. And uh, by out route, I mean corner route. Jeez. Bottled up. Come on, we gotta get this. Blitz is coming from the right side. Blitz is not coming from the right side. Oh, jeez. I was trying to hit R1. I was trying to hit R1. He was going towards the corner of the end zone, and just as I crossed the line, we're gonna go for it. Isaiah Jacobs, he's got the speed to the edge. We got this, we got this. Go. Who was the uh, six foot six receiver that the Ravens drafted that was not good? That's TJ Basher. I think he was at a temple. Drafted him like four years ago. Took him in like the fourth round. He was not good. Move the sticks. Jaleel Scott, that's it, Ashe. That's the guy. There was guys in my dynasty league that really thought he was going to be good. Cause they were like Joe Flacco, six foot six, thrown to a six foot six receiver. How are you going to stop it? And I'm like, I don't know. Just put any corner on him. What about Warren Jackson? I like Warren Jackson better than T. Oh, get there. I like Warren. Ooh, ooh. Hey, we got out of bounds. Although not really. I like Warren Jackson's tape a lot better than T.J. Vasher. He didn't test well at all, but. I did have a second round grade on Equinemia St. Brown. I was a believer. Oh, I was trying to hit that corner out. I was a believer. And uh, he burned me. Ooh, nice play. Oh my gosh, are you serious? That was the best throw of Talia's career. That one's going on his, on his uh, NFL scouting reel. What a freaking throw, are you kidding me? That was an absolute dime. Hurry it up, come on. Oh my god, what a drive, dude. Talia putting it out for the NFL scouts. Unreal. That drive's going on Sports Center. Hey, we just got a pick. Right, if we can if we can score here, I think we'll, we'll be good to sim the rest. We got Jarrett running a double move.
Just go for it. Come down with it, Jarrett. That, that stuff just never works. Though I might be taking it a little bit easy here in our final, final game, but I guess it's good to know what I can and can't do for next year. Jeez, nice tackle. <laughs> That's right, college football guy. If we're over 90 when we get through the offseason, I'll, I'll keep it going into next year. So you guys can't leave. Holding you hostage on Easter because I'm a good Christian. And obviously that's what good Christians do. Oh, geez, going the wrong way. Oh, I was so tempted to hit one of those deep guys, but couldn't uh, couldn't bring myself to do it after we've, we've thrown a couple picks in this one. Team Jarrett. Big, big expectations for him in his senior year. Five-star receiver came in. Crowded receiver room with studs like Ja'Shawn Jones and Dion Mustard McDougal. But he'll be wide receiver one next year. Let's set our music back. Almost running out of the playlist. Oh, Jared, baby, what a play. That might be an excellent way Dog, to end he put the team on our his back. playage for the Dog, third let's season. Let's go inside the mind of a Greg Jennings. Dog, I gotta do this shit. I put the team on my fucking back, though. My... Uh-oh. Go out. Jeez. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Man. We got to put the team on our back one more time. Oh. If we could have led that upfield just a little bit more. A good throw by Talia, though. Hand in his face. score too quick here I think I'm gonna put the clock on conservative and try to maybe maybe end this late wake gave us a fight man I was not expecting Not over either. No blurbs right now, Panda. You're always asking for 
for blurbs at the most critical moments in the stream. Oh my god, get rid of it. Fuck! Ah, they had that covered up well and they frickin' defended it. Wasting time here, but I mean, if we either way, we need to stop. They're not scoring again, so I'm gonna just go for it. Someone's got to get open deep. Yes, hell yeah! Woo! Rakeem Jarrett says, we ain't losing a fucking Wake Forest, guys. Wake up. This kick, is, we have a freshman kicker, so this is about the range for our kid. God, we need to gain yardage, not lose yardage. What are we doing? I honestly don't know if we can make this kick. I, I think we can, but I have no certainty about that. This is basically a NFL PAT. And then we gotta play defense. Plays Laduka at the end here. They gotta go. They didn't get. Oh, they did get the first down. I don't miss kicks in this game, Cinnamon Rolls, because kicking in this game is a lot easier than Madden. Look at Laduka transition in and out of those breaks. Hey, we're back up to 90, guys. You're going to force my hand to keep this thing going if we're hitting these digits. We'll give them that all day. They got to use that timeout. Oh, they're not going to use it. They're not going to get this playoff. Oh, okay. Get deep. Psst. Thanks, EA. Thanks, EA. Thanks, EA. Thanks for the W, EA. What an epic last effort. Heave into the end zone. Woo, man. We got up to nine wins, guys. It's a great season. We had our ups and downs. It could have been even better. I mean, we lost to Bowling Green. We blew a game against Purdue with six turnovers where we outplayed them and we barely lost. We blew it last second against Ohio State. I mean, we were close. And we lose, we lose some players, especially Talia. But... I really think we're in we're in a good position to replace him. We had a 75 overall freshman quarterback that we redshirted. So he's going to be like an 80 true freshman, which, I mean, maybe the first year will be some learning curves, but the expectations for him are going to be quite high. I'm 
got some coaching upgrades to do. 